Hi guys, today's reading is going to be a love message. We're going to take a look and see what the cards have for you. It is going to be a general reading, but you'll know it's for you if you connect with the messages, if they resonate. Um, if they don't, however, that's okay. Don't try and force it here. Just let it flow. For those of you interested in a personal reading, feel free to reach out and inquire. Email is listed below. Five of Wands is the energy that crowns the reading. It's just um, it's at the bottom of the deck. And it's neat that you've got the star. There is, there is a tension or a source of tension here. There's something, um, a conflict, a tension, where the, the energies are just not playing well together here. And they need healing. Okay? So... This could indicate that you and the person that you are connected to are not in a good place. Um, maybe you guys are in a separation. Maybe you're in a disconnection. Maybe you, you're in a no contact, no communication period. Maybe you guys had, uh, you know, you've dr drifted apart or there's been some sort of discord. There's been something here that I feel like has created a distance between you and your person. Even if you are talking and communicating, there's definitely something here that needs healing. There's definitely something here that needs fixing. It needs repairing. It needs to be healed, okay? Because whatever wounds you do not heal, you can dress them up. But whatever wounds you don't heal, unfortunately, they're going to continue to fester and bleed all over this connection or this relationship or even new um, bleed over new relationships moving forward. There is someone whom I think that you are connected to, and this is a strong connection. This feels like this has happened in the past. So it could be the energy of an ex, or it could be someone whom you're still connected to, but there is some sort of, there's some sort of separation here or disconnection. There's something here that I feel like this person regrets. You have a very strong connection with this person, so much so that I think that even if you guys are not, are in a no contact communication, um, no contact, no communication phase of a relationship, they're still speaking to you. They're speaking to you through energy. Their energy, they're thinking about you, okay? Um, therefore, they're, they're, they're pulling on your energy. They're, say, they're sending waves, they're sending out waves of frequency. And because you share such a strong emotional connection with this person, you can pick up, you can pick up on the fact that this person is thinking about you. Or, like for example, maybe you have recently thought about this person, or maybe you've been doing a lot of thinking about them recently, and their name is just going to pop up on your phone. Like they will contact you, they will message you, or you will re you will hear news about this person. This does feel like it's a past energy, and it feels like someone, this person is in a dark place. Um, it could be you though, this could be your energy, but it feels like someone he is... They're not able to release themselves from this person. They're not able to detach themselves from something that has happened in the past. The weight of regret is a very heavy burden. And this like this person is really cr crumbling under the pressure. This person has a lot of regrets. When they think about you, they think about how they acted or they think they think about how they treated you or mistreated you how they didn't love you enough or how they screwed up a relationship. Um, they think about, you know, what went wrong, the role that they played in the breakup or the disconnection here. So this person, feel they can't, they can't get quite get over that though. They can't quite move on. They may have 
put you in a third party situation as well okay and if so this person regrets that this person regrets doing that and the only reason they put you in a third party situation is from is from insecurities okay this person this person was quite insecure i think this is i think what really here's the thing nine of cups you were a wish come true you were someone that they thought that you were too good to be true they always wanted and they wished for someone just like you right they loved everything about you they thought you were picture perfect when you showed up in this person's life they couldn't believe that someone like you gave someone like them a chance they thought that you know you were out of their league no they thought that they were out of your league they thought that they did not know how to deal with it because this person i think was already insecure to begin with being with you only heightened their insecurity and i think that this person might have put you in a third party situation because their actions sabotage the relationship they know that they've sabotaged this connection they know it and they regret it this person thinks about you all the time they do this person thinks about you very often this is someone who i think is wishing they wished for you or they're wishing to hear from you or they're wishing for things to go back i think this person is trying to manifest uh, a reconciliation or a reconnection or is trying to manifest contact communication between the two of you i feel like they're trying to go back it feels like this person is trying to go back to what you've had i'm getting strong water energy pisces cancer scorpio um fire energy is also coming up aries leo sagittarius and uh gemini aquarius and libra i mean could be an earth sign as well but i feel like i'm getting strong air energy and strong water energy here um i think this is someone that you haven't gotten over entirely as well i think the both of you and that's the thing and i think this is why the five of wands has popped up because what's happening here is that you guys are still holding on to each other emotionally energetically there's still this thread that connects the two of you together and the, the thread itself might be thinning out as time wears on but it still connects you to one another i think that this is someone whom you two have you two think about this person a lot right there's something about this connection that feels like it was destined something about them that felt like they were a soulmate or the two of you were just sort of destined for each other this person felt like they were very lucky to have you i think this person wants to heal or wants to fix wants to fix whatever it is that you know um that needed repairing or that needed fixing here i just don't think they know how to do it i think they're so busy the thing is you can't move forward if you keep looking back and this person's energy feels like it's stuck in the past and i think that even though they want to reach out and communicate or even though they want to come back how can they move forward if they're still living in the past they're so focused they're so fixated on what went wrong here that they're not seeing the opportunity to heal this right heal this situation heal this hurt they're not seeing the opportunity to fix this because they're so focused on what went wrong all of their focus all of their energy their mental energy is going on is like being directed towards the past you can't move forward if you keep looking back and i think this it feels like this person is stuck it feels like this person is really stuck was they drinking was they heavily drinking or was there um heavy use of substance here because i'm picking up that very strongly and this may have gone in the in the way of a relationship or of a connection um this person may 
rely um, on like heavy drinking or heavy use of um, a substance and that may be the very thing or one of the things that you know that hinder this relationship I think they're very um, they're very closed off this person's energy feels like it's very closed off they're uh, very much in the past and I think it's this the ten of wands I think this is an energy of them being really weighed I think the both of you are weighed like you can both feel the weight of this connection and you can both feel just how special you were to one another but you can also feel that the sadness or the heaviness of the loss the heaviness of this regret the heaviness of the tension that you know lies in the energies um and you you both can you're both kind of carrying that weight you both can feel that weight i think on the on the outside maybe you guys are just you know you go on about your day or you you or this person wants to it's almost like they want to appear like they're not bothered by it or they want to appear like they're doing good without you but that's not the case because i think every chance they get they keep going back to you or they keep thinking about you they're being reminded about you a lot here there's a lot of sleepless nights a lot of restless nights disturbed peace there's also this really disruptive thought it's very disruptive it's not very focused um and it is i think this person is regretting having said some things to you or having hurt you or maybe you're still holding on to the pain the pain of this relationship the pain of this connection i think you will get an opportunity to reconnect with this person in the future i do however because i think your paths are going to cross again and I think that, you know what, this relationship or this connection feels like it's complex. It doesn't feel like it's so simple. I don't know why. I mean, I guess human beings are, you know, quite complex by nature. Um, but I do think that there's some sort of complexity, some sort of intricacies about this relationship. But I do think that you will get a chance to reconnect with one another. You will get a chance to cross paths with each other in the future. And I think this will happen when the both of you are in a better stage. Because right now, it feels like you're, you guys are still holding on to resentment. You're still holding on to negative emotions. You're still, you both, I think you both are wishing for one another. You're both wishing to go back to what you had. Maybe not exactly what you had. Um, but, you know, go back to what the two of you were. You're wishing to, you're wishing to hear from them. You're wishing for them to reach out or connect with you there's this strong you know w uh, wishing kind of energy right especially with the nine of cups but underneath that you've got the five of cups and this is being stuck in the past this is regretting what didn't work out but once again whoever this is if it's you or if it's them you keep living in the past you won't be able to move forward you're missing out on the present and it's in, and essentially the future so i think when the both of you because you're both in a kind of similar kind of energy i guess when the both of you move on from this energy i think you will get a chance to reconnect and when you do i honestly think that you will have a chance to you'll get the chance to reconcile your differences you'll get the chance to talk things out and you'll get the chance and opportunity to maybe try and make things work again. Because this time around, things will be d different, right? You, you both know what went wrong or you both know what you did or, you know, what you said to hurt the relationship. I think you both learned from the mistakes made. So this time around, it feels different. Like you've got more of a handle on this, I guess. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thank you for watching and listening. Please show your support to the channel by liking, sharing and subscribing. Bye for now.